when it comes to the bookseller of Kabul, I knew one thing that I, I had covered the war in Afghanistan for several months, but never ever been in a house of someone seeing the women i could we could come in to visit some commanders and just sitting with a man but the the women were just very uh hidden uh and i knew that i wanted to find out what is family life because so much of the afghan society is based on like it's it's resting on the pillar of the family and moving into the family um i knew there were several generations and um uh i well, that was actually all I knew. Uh, and that there were several wives, uh, children of different mothers in one family. Um, that, uh, of course, there was no way I could have a structure because the story developed as I lived there. But again, when you live there, maybe it's, let's say you're half through your stay, you might think, aha, this is a story I want to develop. I need to spend more time with this person or some person are not that interesting, or maybe you have too many similar, similar persons and you have to make a choice. Uh, not just to actually save your energy. You can do hundreds of thousands of interviews all the time, but to really do well some of them, you have to focus your energy.